Hey Ninbuzz, I'm Awesome Face Prod for Nintendo News. With the release of the newest DLC and balance patch to Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Wii U and 3DS, comes some interesting information. Some talented folks have gone ahead and did a bit of digging into the game's code and discovered that Nintendo has apparently three placeholder slots in the character roster, as well as four stage slots. Two of course being for normal mode, and two being Omega versions. With the Smash Ballot ending soon, we could see these placeholders for characters being filled with the top three results from the fan votes. The stages, however, could really be anything at this point. The next Splatfest for North America has been announced. This time, the theme is your preferred method of travel, cars or planes. Usually, these North American announcements are followed by announcements for the other regions, but I haven't heard of anything just yet, so please, be a little more patient. As with all of these Splatfests, you'll want to choose your team very wisely to try and obtain more Super Sea Snails. As for me, I'll probably join Team Car since I drive more often than I fly. Some new information regarding Mario and Luigi Paper Jam has been released, and it details that the game will support 18 Amiibo right off the bat most of which will come from the Super Smash Bros. and Super Mario series amiibo, but the game will also support the Yarn Yoshi amiibo, and both versions of the 8-bit Mario amiibo that released with Super Mario Maker. The game is also set to release in Japan on December 3rd. No other release date has been announced at this point, and given that this game will have a lot of written dialogue, localization could take some time, so, those of us in the West can probably expect this title early next year. Nintendo and its partnership company, DNA, are preparing to announce the company's first venture into mobile gaming. According to one Japanese game analyst, we should, and I quote, expect the unexpected. Which, besides sounding overly dramatic, kinda makes me wonder what Nintendo and DNA cooked up. It's really not like Nintendo to push the boundaries all that much, and more so when they're trying to branch out into something new, so I look forward to seeing what it is that they've been working on and keeping a secret for so long. But that is going to do it for this week's episode of Nintendo News. If you want to listen to me talk some more, you can come and check out my channel. There you'll find ongoing Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I've been Awesome Face Prod for Nintendo News. Have a great day.